Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Hibernate tutorial. In this session, I explain Hibernate architecture. So Hibernate is an ORM tool which is going to simplify the Java development time uh, while interaction with the Java application to the database. Now, ORM is a technique or a tool which is going to help you to store the Java object into the database directly as a one row of the table. So ORM is going to simplify this um, conversion of the Java object to the corresponding uh, row of a particular table. At the same time, while getting the um, table records from the database to the Java objects, then this ORM tool automatically convert the uh, conversion of the Java object to the corresponding rows of a particular table and rows of a particular table to the corresponding Java object. Now, in order to do this um, uh, concept, so hybrid will inbuilt will have the architecture so which is going to simplify the this java uh, database interaction now if you see the below diagram it has different components in the hibernate architecture so i am going to explain each concept what uh, each component what is the uh, advantages of the each component first one is the uh, configuration so the configuration is a uh, component which is going to uh, load the hibernate.cfg.xml file. This is the main configuration file we are going to use in the hibernate where we are going to specify the application level settings like what is the database connection and what are the connection provider it is going to provide. If you are specifying any type of uh, caching then that type of entries and also what are the uh, what are the classes you want to convert from the Java object into a corresponding database uh, you want to map java entities uh, corresponding uh, tables it want to store all those mappings we are going to provide it in the hibernate.cfg file so what configuration is going to first it is going to re uh, load the uh, read the hibernate.cfg.xml file and using that it is trying to create a session factory so if we come to the session factory so se session factory is a immutable object and it is a sing uh, it is a immutable and a single thread that means for an entire uh, one database for the entire application for the one database there will be only one session factory object will be created because the creation of the session factory is the costliest operation because it is going to consume lot of resources while creating a session factory hence what what hibernate is going to do is as per the standards it is going to create only one session factory for the one database when your application is talking to the different databases then you need to specify the different uh, hibernate.cfg files for the each database so that if you are using a two database then two session factory is going to be enough to serve all the requests okay so session factory is a uh, immutable object so it is going to be uh, created using the hibernate.cfg file and it will be created and also it is a it is a factory of sessions that means if you see the session so session is a single live threaded object uh, live threaded uh, component which is going to wrap the jdbc connections that means once you create a session that means you are indirectly creating a connection to the database and using these sessions we can manipulate you can do the database operation so session is by default whenever you say session hibernate by default maintains the, maintains the caching at the session level so once you are trying to retrieve any objects in the session level then instead of it is hitting the directly uh, hitting the da database once it will get the uh, results from the data uh, database and it will be uh, placed in the session uh, cache next time even when you are trying to get the results and again instead of hitting the database it will directly get it uh, get it from the session so it is going to improve the performance of the application because it will not interact to the uh, in, uh, not hit the database until if the uh, data is not available in the cache and also it is a fact uh, the session object is going to be a factory for the transaction uh, transaction so in uh, in order to uh, work with the transaction uh, transaction component transaction is basically help you to achieve the atomic work of a work in a uh, in the application so the session is a factory of the transactions so transaction is going to make sure that it is going to perform an atomic work that means either the operation is going to be fully committed or it will be rollback 
So using the uh, using the session, you can create a transaction. And here the query object query is in uh, class as the component which is going to help you to write a, your own uh, queries. Like um, in the case of uh, Hibernate, we are going to use the hybrid query language, which is going to uh, write and queries in the form of object uh, um, SQL version, where you are going to specify your own queries by mapping the entities instead of writing the native SQL. So what happens, the, the main advantage of the HQL, uh, HQL is Hibernate query languages, even though tomorrow you are changing from the one database to the different database, HQL is going to uh, able to convert the um, queries to the new database format. But if you are trying to work with like a JDBC, the, it is going, we are going to depend on the SQL. So when we are changing from one database to another database, where you have to change the syntax of the SQL query. But in the case of Hibernate, the HQL will be, when you write a queries in the HQL, then automatically the Hibernate will be taken care of converting the SQL, which is compatible with the new database. And criteria is in um, a class or a API, which is going to help you to filter the result sets. That means once you want to filter the conditions like adding a uh, adding the conditions like a like operator or the greater than or less than, or even if you want to sort by based on the ascending or the descending order, then those type of operations can be supported using the criteria. And using these components, the Hibernate will be talked to the database and also it will be interacted into the database and it will be uh, it will be uh, improving the performance of the application. And one last point is session factory is by default, it will not enabled as a cache, but if you want to implement the second level cache in the uh, in the Hibernate, then you need to uh, explicitly add the second level cache and those entries you need to make it in the Hibernate.cfg.xml. So I am going to explain this concept in detail when we are going with the uh, hands-on session with the how to create a Hibernate application. There you will get the full clarity, but at the high level, these are the components we are trying to work, uh, we are going to use while working with the Hibernate. Hope you are clear with the concept and if you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more technical videos.